Hi guys, let's welcome you guys all back to my channel and happy December. Um, before we even get to this video, I just want to say I had original plans of recording a video and having something posted every day for the month of December. However, if you can't tell, I am sick. I'm feeling good today, so I am going to record some videos, but obviously it will not be every day in December, but you can expect a lot more videos this month than normal. So it's not going to be every day, but you can at least expect a video. I mean, just check. Pretty much get the notification bell linked up so you'll know when I post a video. And I'll try to let you guys know on my social media, but for the most part, I'm just going to be resting and prepping for Winter Planner Land. So if you are going to Winter Planner Land, leave me a comment down below because um, I can't wait to meet you guys and it's going to be super, super fun. But this video is actually about my November reads and my December TBR. So I've actually officially hit my reading goal of 60 books this year. I'm actually going to surpass it. I think I'm at... I think right now I'm at 62 or 63, something like that. Um, luckily this year I kept track of it via Goodreads. I used to not do that. I used to, I never really kept up with my Goodreads before, but this year I actually used Goodreads and I kept a tracker in my bullet journal, um, which you will see my bullet journal. I'm doing a flip through of both my 2018 bullet journals. Um, so you'll be able to see it <laughs> and that way. But yeah, so... Um, I did not read everything that I wanted to read this month, but I feel like this month's reads were good. Black Friday and stuff came through, so I did not get the chance to um, do everything that I wanted, but I did want to talk about the reads right now. So obviously, in my Harry Potter reread, I have reread The Order of the Phoenix, um, audiobook-wise. I forgot how much of this book the movie kept out, like bruh it's the whole um mystery room the whole end is like a revamped remix on the movie when I re-listened to it I was like oh my gosh I forgot so much of that happened so actually I was very I don't know I guess rereading all of them is fun but for some reason when I got here I was like wow I forgot a lot that happened like so much imagery and everything so you know how I feel about Harry Potter so the next one that I want to talk about are The Queens of Finburn and then three or Two Dark Rain. Two Dark Rains? Yeah, Two Dark Rains. So that is book three. And these are the novellas, the Queen um the Little The Young Queens and then the Oracle Queen. So I actually read Two Dark Rains before I read this. And I can say, um, do not read the novellas before the first book. Because it gives massive spoilers, basically. Because, like, if you learn something about the Young Queens, it explains a lot of what happens in the first book. So I recommend that you... I recommend that you actually read this after the second book. Um, I, read, um, I read it so I can tell you where it would be properly placed. Um, especially the story of the Oracle Queen. I feel like um, since I read the third book first, the story of the Oracle Queen is very, very interesting. I highly recommend that you read it. Um, if you're a fan of the series like I am, then these are actually really good novellas. Um, the Young Queen ones, not so much, because it tells the story of what happened to them um, before the first book, obviously, so when they're in the Black Cottage. So, I mean, that was cute, but, like, the Oracle Queen story... I'm not going to spoil it. I'm just going to say it's a novella worth reading. Now, Two Dark Reigns, I am not sure how I feel about it because of One Dark Throne. One Dark Throne, I think, might be my favorite book of the series so far. But Two Dark Reigns starts telling you the story of, um, okay, so on Finburn, they are protected by a mist. And they've never truly explained the mist other than that was given to them by the goddess. And so in Two Dark Rains, they explain the mist a little bit better. And basically, that's all I can tell you without giving you spoilers to the other books. Obviously, I'm going to do like a whole series review when the next book comes out because I need the next book. Like, I need it now. I'm kind of sad. Um, usually, I read books like when the last book is out so I can have something to follow through at the end. But 
<clears throat> I don't have anything to follow through with that. Sorry, my voice is getting scratchier and scratchier, but I definitely, definitely liked those. The next book that I read is Shadow of the Fox, and it was one of my highly anticipated reads of this year, and I am so glad that I put it on my list. Uh, I gave this book, I think, a four out of five stars, I think. I don't really remember. I loved it. It's Japanese folklore, which... Um, I've never read fantasy, a fantasy book about Japanese folklore, so that was one thing. It Basically, it focuses on a... I'm not sure if this is a real story, but basically there is a scroll that was split into two parts, and this is a story about one part of the scroll, and it involves a girl, a samurai, and some other things. I cannot go into detail because I want you to read it. It's a great fantasy book. It is super Japanese. <laughs> super, super Japanese. I Oh, and the audiobook is available on Hoopla and it's told, it's read by two people, read by a girl and a guy. And, um, I like the, the two person perspective of this story because you get, you get the samurai who is, as a, as a is a kage so he's a part of the shadow clan and then you get um the story of the girl she's a katsune and um katsune is fox obviously well for those who don't know katsune is fox and so these relationships form and i love the introduction of the different types of creatures i love the introduction of like their spirituality i love the whole dynamic of the story I am so glad to know that if another book is coming I've actually already pre-ordered it because I've decided I'm buying the series um it's a great book it's also again by a person of color not black Asian and it's a good book so I highly recommend it so according to my camera I don't need to split this into two because those were only books that I read this month which wasn't considering last month when I read eight books the four books is kind of lackluster but um <clears throat> like I said Black Friday and stuff so I was really busy filling orders I probably should have vlogged that so you guys could see the fun that it was but <laughs> maybe that's why I'm like this because the stress and the stuff wore me out but um I'm actually still reading Becoming I heard that her audiobook is actually in fact read by her and the library has not gotten it yet so I'm actually I'm actually debating on buying the audiobook like outright because um I've noticed my with myself with nonfiction novels like this I'm intrigued with the story but it takes me longer to read because I'm so in like I take the time like I started I have to go through I had to buy new sticky tabs because I have been marking this book up there have been some great quotes in this book there have been um, just some great stories, like things to take from the book. Michelle Obama, like I was a stand for Michelle Obama, obviously before I bought the book, but like the more I read the book, I stand for this woman. I love her so, so much. And she's just a great inspiration in her life. It's like, yeah, she was the first lady, but you don't understand what this woman is amazing. Like, yeah, her hubby is Barack, but like, have you seen Michelle? is basically like the way that I say it. So I know this book has sold tons of copies already, but if you have not gotten into this, I highly recommend it. Audiobook it, regular book. I'm glad that I have the regular book so that I can annotate um, as I go. I'm on page 64 because I had to reread some parts because I think I kind of forgot them. So hope this will be the book that I travel with to finish reading as soon as possible. The next book that I want to read is surprisingly short. I didn't know it was this short. It is The Black God's Drums by P. Jelle Clark. I'm not sure how to say his or her name, but um, I don't know who I saw this. I saw this on somebody's booktube. I don't remember, but basically it says Creeper, a scrappy young teen, is done living on the streets of New Orleans. Her sights on, are set on securing passage aboard Captain Amory's smuggler airship, Midnight Robber, earning the captain's trust using a secret about a kidnapped Haitian scientist and a mysterious weapon he calls the Black God's drums. But Creeper keeps another secret close to her heart, Oya, the African Orisha of the wind and storms, who speaks inside her head and grants her divine powers. And Oya has her own priorities. So the, the only other book that I've read were... 
there are mentions of Orisha or any kind of African diasporas. Obviously, the Nene Okorafor and then uh, Tomi and Yemi. Those are the two books. Wait, no. And then there was a mention of it in Evie Zoboy's Pride. So I've always kind of liked that kind of storyline. So I am very intrigued. A, the cover is a black chick. Um, I cannot find this book hardcover. So if I like this book, I will have to buy it. <sighs> I have to buy a paperback. But the book is only... Okay, yeah, he's a black dude. Cool. Um, the book is only 100 pages. So I'm going to fly through this book. Um, yeah, I didn't know that it was going to be this short. I just know that I wanted to read it. So, yeah. So I'm kind of getting into a graphic novel mood. Basically, I am looking for, I think the next graphic novels I'm going to read are Saga Part 2 and then uh, The Search for the Last Airbender series. So I've never actually read them. I just watch a lot of videos about them. But the first graphic novel I'm going to read is one that's actually I, that I actually own that I should have read a long time ago. It's Marissa Meyer's Wire and Nerve um, Part 1. It's a continuation of the Lunar Chronicles. So obviously, I should have definitely read this by now. It's only, I bought it because I really like the way the cover looked, but it's like 230 pages. Um, <clears throat> I still haven't bought the Lunar Chronicles yet, which is weird, but I do plan on reading this. You guys are going to see a lot more graphic novels coming up because I go through these like weird book phases. Like my fantasy phase is kind of dying out a little bit and I'm heading into the graphic novel phase. So we'll see. It's supposed to be some manga graphic novels in this piece. The next book that I'm going to read, obviously, is Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. Um, I enjoy audio. This this is, uh, the Harry Potter series is a great book to listen to at work, basically. Um, again, still wish there was a full cast, but I'm not going to complain too much. So, this one. So, the last book that I want to get to, which will probably be the book, because I hope to finish Becoming by the end of this week. So the next book that I will be traveling with is Strange to Dreamer by Lonnie Taylor. Um, okay, so I know this. I think the the second book, the Nightmare book. Um, yeah, the sequel is the something Nightmares, I think. And the sequel is a pretty purple cover. So I'm not going to lie. I literally almost bought the second book because the cover was pretty, not realizing that there was a first book. And then the first book cover is also really, really pretty. So I got this book from my library and I'm going to read it. If I like it, then that kind of justifies me buying the second book, basically. So I'm reading this book to justify a book purchase. I know that's ridiculous, but for those of you who don't know what this is about, it is about a guy named Lan Laszlo, <clears throat> war orphan and junior librarian, who's always feared that his dream chose poorly. Since he was five years old, he's been obsessed with the mystic lost city of Weep, but it would take someone bolder than he to cross the half, cross half the world in search of it. Then a stunning opportunity presents itself in person of a hero called the God Slayer and a band of legendary warriors, and he has to seize his chance or lose his dream forever. So the actual premise of the story is very interesting. Like it's it's a book that I would read. So again, I'm not gonna lie, I picked up this book because I want the second book cover because it's pretty. <laughs> So, just being honest. <clears throat> Woo! All right, so that is the end of my November reads and my December TBR. What books are you reading? As usual, don't forget to check down below for the list of books. Someone requested that I put the list of books down below, and so I will list the books down below. Um, I will try to give you Amazon links or Barnes & Noble link. I'll try to give you a link at least to the Goodreads so you can see everything. But um, as usual, thank you guys so much for checking out my channel. And until the next time, guys, bye.